We have just talked about difference between hard and soft links. But why they are actually needed? In Linux, if you want to create a copy of a specific file, you could of course use cp command and copy one file to another file and uh, use them separately. But if you want to reuse specific file and uh, only change its location, you could simply use link to existing file. Same with directories. There is no need to copy entire directory. You could simply create a link to that directory. And that's it. For example, if I go here one level up, cd, and cd actually to root folder and list files and folders here, I'll see that such folders as sbin, lib and lib32 are simply links to other directories, like user sbin. I could verify that user sbin is directory by using simply ls command and uh, I'll see actually contents of that folder. And that means that you are able to create links either for files or for directories. And now let's do some experiments and let's create the links ourselves. Let's cd to home directory and let's list files and folders here. ls. And here I see some files and folders that I have created before. If you see here empty folder, please create any new text file. I'll create now link to file5.txt that is already present here in this folder. For that I will use command ln. And first, as first argument, here will be name of existing file. In this case, file5.txt. And after space will be name of the link. And let's suppose that I'll create link with name file5-link.txt. And actually, I'll create first soft link. Let me add here soft link like so. And I'll add additional option here, dash s that will indicate that I want to create soft link. Let's press enter and let's list files and folders now. And I see now file file5-softlink.txt. And if I have a look at contents of this file, like so, I'll see actually contents of file5.txt. All right, let's now list files using l option, ls-l, and now I see that file5 dash soft link.txt is link to file 5.txt. And here of course you see difference in permissions, difference in size and difference in date of modification. And that's because I have just created soft link to file 5.txt. Alright, let's now do the following. Let's create one more copy of file 5.txt using cp command. Copy and let's copy file 5.txt to file 6.txt, like so. Let's list files and folders now, and there is additional file 6.txt. Size is the same as size of file 5.txt, here it is. But those files are completely two different files. And if you change file 5.txt, there will be no change in file 6.txt. But there will be change in this link. Let's try that. Let's modify file5.txt. And for that, let's use nano editor. nano file5.txt. And let's modify first line. And here I'll type file was just modified. Like so. Let's save changes. Ctrl X. Yes. And press Enter. And now let's read contents of file5.txt. Cut. File5. Actually, I could use head head file5.txt, sorry typo, txt, actually let me use uh, dash n option and read only first line, dash n1, like so. And I'll see file was just modified. Let's now read contents of link to this file, head dash n1, file5-softlink.txt, and I'll see same contents. And that's because this file is simply link to this file. Let's now read the contents of file 6.txt. Let's again read only first line. And I see that first line in this file remained unchanged. That's because file 6 is copy of file 5.txt, not its link. Alright, let's again list files and folders here. And let's now delete file 5.txt. rm file 5.txt and let's list files and folders again. 
And now I see that there is still this link here in this list, but if I try to read it, cut file 5 softlin.txt, I'll see error, no such file or directory. And that's because file 5, destination file for this link was actually removed. Alright, let's now simply remove this soft link. rm file 5 soft link. And this file is now absent. Alright, let's now create hard link for file 6.txt. For that we will use same command ln, but now without any options. ln, here will be file name, name of the original file, file 6.txt, and here will be name of the hard link. Let's say file 6-hardlink.txt. Enter. Let's list files and folders now. And now I see newly created file, file 6-hardlink.txt. And those files have same permissions, same size and same modification date. Let's now try to modify file 6.txt. Nano, file 6.txt. And here let's again add uh, some changes here on the first line. Hard link was just modified. Like so. Let's save changes. Yes. And now let's have a look at contents of this folder. And I see that file 6 was modified, but file 6 hard link was modified as well. You see same modification time. And if I read contents of file 6.txt now and contents of file 6 hardlink.txt now, they will be exactly the same. Let's do that. Let's use again head dash n1 file 6.txt. I see this first line in this file 6.txt. And let's do the same with hardlink file 6 dash hardlink. And I see same line. And that means that now those files both reflect same change. And the reason for that is that they point to the same i node in memory. Let's go back to ls-l command and add additional option i. That will show us i node number. And this i node number is the same for those both files. And finally, let's try to remove one of those files and see whether another file will remain in place or not. And let's remove file 6.txt. rm file 6.txt ls. And I don't see file 6.txt here in this list, but I still see file 6 hard link.txt. Here it is. And now let's again read contents of this file head n1 file 6 hard link, and we see that it still has same contents. That's because I note with the same number as we have seen here is still present in memory. That's what happens when you remove one of the hard links. All remaining links will still have same content as before. That is the difference between hard and soft links. And again, you could use them if you simply need to have a specific file or files or folders in different locations. That's all guys for this lecture, I hope you enjoyed it, and next let me explain you how to use find command. I'll see you next, bye bye.